G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now you may have invested a lot of time and effort in developing, creating uh, your company intranet, your home site or your company portal and using Viva Connections, you wanna bring that company portal or intranet into Microsoft Teams and have that as the starting point when somebody clicks on the Viva Connections app in the app rail. Now, recently, um, Viva Connections rolled out a new home experience. Now, what if we want to revert back to the home site that we uh, have spent all of our effort in? So you can see on the screen here, this is the new home experience of Viva Connections. Now, what you'll see, obviously, is that it is not your intranet. So what if we want to move back to our intranet and have that as the default landing page? Well, there's two lines of PowerShell that will help us do that, and that's what we're going to have a look at right now. Now, in this new experience, you can see the way to get to the intranet you'll see in the top right-hand corner of the Viva Connections uh, launch experience here is a link directly to our intranet, and that's how we can click, and then that will open up. Now, what if we want to make that the default? Well, two lines of code, right? So we've got here uh, our PowerShell. So what we need to do first is connect to our SPO service and we put in the admin URL of our SharePoint admin center. We hit enter and we're going to be authenticating uh, into that uh, admin center. So we're going to use an already signed in account. This is a global administrator account. I'm going to sign in and then that will authenticate. After we've authenticated, then there is one more line that we need to uh, that we need to run, and then that will set not only the home site, but it'll set a little flag that says um, uh, not to use the default Viva Connections uh, start experience. So I'm just going to paste that into the PowerShell uh, prompt here. And you can see here we set the SPO home site with the home site uh, property here at uh, our root site collection, which is the one you see in the background. And then we pass in the false parameter here to the Viva Connections default start. So we're going to hit uh, hit enter. We're going to be asked if we, um, before we set the home site, make sure we review the documentation, etc., etc. We've done all that. We're going to hit yes and we will hit enter. There we go. The home site has now been set to the URL that we've provided and the Viva Connections default experience set to false. So it might take a little bit of time, around about 15 minutes or so for this to take effect um, and for users to see this updated experience. But what they will see after that has been set is if I change over to Alex here, um, what we will see is that will be the experience. So when they click on the Viva Connections app in the left on the left hand side, then that will uh, not open the default Viva Connections experience, but it will open up the intranet that you spent a lot of time and effort in in, uh, creating and making sure that that's a great user experience. So that's how we do it. Now, if you want to revert back, then we simply just need to run that same command, uh, except this time what we would do is pass in the true parameter here. We would set that to, uh, to true. We, again, we're going to go yes, and then that is going to set the default Viva uh, start experience to that new uh, that new landing page. So I hope that brings you some value today. You can change uh, the default experience inside of Viva Connections just with a couple of lines of PowerShell. Hope that brings you some value. See you next time.